Day two of the Ranchero move up to the Murphy Museum. I'm gonna go meet Dennis. Got him a Mustang coloring book because he's a Mustang guy. Oh, the sun is so bright. Back in the Jeep, uh, I got Dennis behind me. Pretty interesting. I went to Coffee Bean just to pick up a cup of Joe, and then this pulled up. So we're carpooling, we're heading up to Tom's, we're gonna pick up the Ranchero, which is already on the trailer, and then we're gonna head up to the Murphy. Uh, what are your thoughts about yesterday? How'd it go? <laughs> Busy day, a lot of uh, work and moving this vehicle. Did it, did it go the way you thought it would? No. <laughs> Does it, it was, ever? More work, no it doesn't, but that's all right. We're, yeah. we're doing the right thing. But today uh, we got uh, everything strapped down, took about a half hour or so? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Think we're good to go. We got one yes. more tiny hurdle just getting up the hill. Yes, one yeah. sharp turn. That's about it.
got many more and Jack in the trunk. You got a plan? <laughs> See how we'll have to.
Success, success. I, I don't know what possessed me to do this. Uh, it took a couple of days to achieve this, but I, I think that when, uh, when I was talking to Tom and he had lost his garage and all of his cars and everything else, there was, there was something in him that conveyed a sense of love for these cars and for the things that he had that I just couldn't see um, this coming to an end in this way, at least for this car. We couldn't save everything. They can't have you know all of his stuff on display. But I felt uh, after talking to David at the Murphy that we could do this car justice and show a period of time, a period of history. So when you guys go to the Murphy and uh, and you see some of the great cars they have up there, you will also get a chance to see the um, see the Ranchero in all its glory and know kind of the story. Uh, you'll be able to have watched it here on the vlog and, and go up there and and you'll get to see it in the flesh and and uh, it's just a little piece of history from the fires and I, I felt that was that was important and Tom was very grateful for that because it conveyed to him that the the car has a second life even though it's not necessarily drivable it's not restored and the bottom line is it's not restorable it's it's too far gone there's nothing that we can do with it uh, it would be a year-long project and and there's just the, the heat being at 2500 degrees and up uh, has distorted the panels and everything else that it's just not something that's salvageable, but it, it does serve a purpose. So uh, you guys can get to enjoy it by going to the museum and seeing that little bit of history. Now I do have some some uh, some thanks to go out, especially um, uh, to my buddy Ken who came up all the way from Huntington Beach uh, to help us move on the first day. Uh, to Kathy, my wife, uh, of course, who got in there and I, I didn't necessarily show it, but she was pushing the car. She was doing all kinds of things and. Um, uh, she's not afraid of getting her hands dirty. Big thanks, of course, to uh, David at, at the Murphy Museum and his couple of guys, Mike and Isaac, father and son, who uh, uh, managed to pull the car off the trailer. But especially big thanks, big thanks to Dennis Burnham, who uh, came from Torrance and, uh, you know, just, just dropped everything, just volunteered, came up without any preconceived ideas, uh, just committed his time, and when it turned into a second day, he said, no problem, he just ran with it. When people are having difficulties, it's nice to know that, that people are willing to step up and to help, and it just feels amazing. So thank you, Dennis, from the bottom of my heart and from uh, from everybody else. We really are grateful, really appreciate you know what you did. I look forward to seeing you guys at Wheels and Waves coming up on Sunday, just a couple of days away. We're gonna have a great time. I wish I could have that car on display, but the Murphy Museum is gonna be bringing a bunch of cars down. It's gonna be very cool. It's gonna be one of our best shows yet. This is for Christmas. We got Santa Claus showing up. Uh, I think Tony Dow is gonna be showing up. A lot of amazing cars, so uh, it's really gonna be fun. So join us if you can. Thanks for watching today. Be sure to subscribe on the YouTube channel here. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those places. And of course, hit me up on my blog at fireballtim.com. You'll see lots of great stuff with the blog, plus the coloring books and all kinds of cool other stuff. All right, guys, we'll see you at the show.